Hello everybody and welcome to another one of our leadership training videos. By now you may know that in these leadership training videos, I spend a few minutes just explaining to you what I've acquired in terms of skills, knowledge and insight that have helped me improve on my own leadership skills, improve my leadership traits, my leadership qualities, and to become a more effective and indeed well-recognized leader. So as I share these with you, I hope that you will uh, understand more and this will help you in your journey. So please feel free to share, like and comment and of course subscribe to the channel so you know when other videos are becoming available. So what we're going to talk about is um, something which maybe you don't understand or is not familiar to some of you because maybe generationally it's less about what you know today and what you've known in the past. So there is an expression which says my word is my bond. My word is my bond which is basically the fact that if I shake your hand, as an example, or if I say, this is what we're going to do, so I don't shake your hand, but I say, this is what we're going to do, that is a commitment. So beyond the contractual commitment, before a legal document is signed between the two, you shake hands, that's your word, the other person accepts it, or the other person says the same, and they, in, this, in a similar way, accept what you have agreed to. So your word is your bond. And that is exactly what this is all about. So the key thing about my word being my bond are two very important elements. One is integrity and the other is trust. So my integrity is that when I shake somebody's hand and I say or commit to something, that doesn't change. That remains unchanged. And I'll give you a very quick example. When I was working for a major retailer, on a very, very big deal that we did, which was tens of millions of euros. I met the individual who was selling the lease, the location that I wanted to acquire on behalf of my company. We shook hands. We didn't exchange any contract because he was old school. As far as he was concerned, I was younger than him, still am younger than him. But as far as he was concerned, the shaking of the hand was a commitment that we were going to go further. There was a lot of discussion, negotiation, and everything else beforehand, but that's not part of this conversation. The fact is, he stood up from behind his great big desk, put his hand out, there was just him and me, nobody else. So there weren't any witnesses, nobody to say, this is what you both committed to. It was just him and me in his office. We shook hands and that was that. We were going to do the deal. We were committed to doing the deal. Now, was it easy? Was it plain sailing? No, it was incredibly complex but neither of us stepped back from the fact that we shook hands until the contractual documents were put together, which obviously took time. But for the weeks, if not the months that succeeded that moment, we were still in that place of, he trusted me, I trusted him. We both committed to something and uh, it was just fantastic. So my word is my bond. I shake your hand or I say to you, this is what we're going to do. That is what we do. Why? Because integrity and trust are two very important elements in the way in which you do things. And that is to be considered with the backdrop of this, which is the consequences of you going back on your word that is your bond or that handshake or that verbal commitment is that the person who, to whom you've done this then sees you as someone who is untrustworthy. They can no longer trust you. You've said one thing, you've done another. You lack conviction. So maybe on that day and that moment, instead of you believing 100% in what you were doing, you felt, well, maybe I shouldn't have, it's not the right thing to do. You'll get then seen as two-faced. So you're this way and you're that way, or this face and that face, whatever way you want to look at it, you are two-faced. In other words, again, you cannot be trusted. You could be seen as dishonest, because it could be that you did that deliberately to get some sort of commitment or engagement out of someone. And equally, it may see you show you as being someone who is weak. So it's incredibly important that you take this idea of my word is my bond as an opportunity to engage with someone. It's not without its risks, absolutely. But at the same time, if you are confident and comfortable in your own space and in your own self, when you stretch that hand or you say to somebody, this is what we're doing, you're committed to it. Because let's think about it. If, for example, those of you who are in corporate, and I was there as well, I say something to someone and we commit to something, maybe a commission or maybe financial terms 
or maybe the duration in which you would do a project out of which you would get paid or the duration of which you would get paid and you change your mind when you come back to the office or your legal department says, no, 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 we can't do that. This is the way it should be. Now that's way more complex if the legal department says no. But if they say, well, we need to change it this way or that way, even though you've given them the core elements of the deal that you have verbally or via handshake structured, it's important that you then fight to defend that decision, that commitment that you have made to the other party. That is what my word is my bond means. And sad to say, but today many people do not see it that way. For me, it is absolutely fundamental because I want to elevate myself, the way that I do business, the way that I treat people in a way in which I would want to be treated in the same way. So when I commit to something, even if I've made a mistake, that is my mistake to own and I shouldn't change the context of the deal. Now, inevitably, it's a big subject. A lot of people see it differently. I've always maintained one particular path. Before I commit to something, I know exactly what I'm committing to. In other words, I don't rush into it. I work through it, I work towards it, and then I know, yeah, I feel totally comfortable that this is the way the deal or the relationship or the business should be structured. And therefore, I don't have to come back on it. I don't feel any desire or need to change the nature of the deal. Now, you may remember a great series or movie, actually, with Jason, Sta uh, Jason Statham, where he basically says in the transporter, you don't change the deal. You remember? There are three things that he set up for another time. We can talk about that, but it's about never changing the deal. The terms don't change because you've set something up initially in the way in which you wanted it to be. So I would recommend to you that think carefully, work towards your integrity and your trust so that that relationship that you create with somebody else gains respect and you will feel very comfortable with it. So I hope this has helped you. Um, if it has, then please feel free to share, like, and comment. And of course, share this video with other people. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Thank you.